Hello everyone, today I'm making tomato puree with a liquor puck beef bones. Okay, I've got some oil in my pot, two onions, cut up. I've got three um, allspice, teaspoon of crushed chili, cinnamon stick, and a chili cut in half. I'm using jalapeno. That's all I had. In it goes. Come, you can come late. Give this a nice color. Then I'm going to add the bones and the garlic. Fry that together and then cook it until nice and soft for about hard or long to tell you. Lank lank. But this is a bit. It doesn't serve. You never can cook it. No, this doesn't have lots of cinnamon. An hour. That's what I'm going to do. Liquor. And I got some potatoes as well. So we'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm gonna throw my beef bones. Look the bean. Let this fry a bit. Like two cloves of garlic. And it just, it just fried. I'm very tongue-tied today. <laughs> See, liquor brown, not grey, brown. It was half a litre of water. I'm going to cook this for half an hour, then I'm going to add more water until I feel it's uh, deflated for the anise, the meat that's on here is liquor soft. So about an hour, hour and 20 minutes, I'm going to cook this bones. Okay, and we'll be right back. Okay guys, it's been about an hour and 20 minutes. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to add about two teaspoons of white pepper or to your taste. And black pepper. I'll add more later. Hundred and fifty gram fifteen grams of tomato paste. You can use puree, passata, you can use fresh tomatoes with this, whatever you have. I only add this and I'm like I'm actually making it just like we made it in the old days. And since it's Heritage Month, this is what it means to me. And, um, yeah, making food with bones. You just cook through the tomato paste. Now I'm going to add, you can add honey, maple syrup or sugar. I've got some honey. I'll just add like a tablespoon or so and I'll add more if I need to. And I've got nice big potatoes that's going to be added here. And that's why 
the nice thing about big potatoes is when you cook it then um, the meat gets even more tender <laughs> oh liquor okay guys so this has fried for about five to six minutes just to cook through that tomato paste and infuse into the bones the meaty beef bones liquor now I'm going to add nine potatoes not cut this is the mash and baked potato and because tomato food is all about the potato and then they still fight over the potato too add enough water this is half a liter maybe I'm gonna add some more and now we're gonna cook this until the potatoes are soft when you insert a knife it comes back out easily okay so little on with the lid and it will take about uh, 35 minutes because it's bigger potatoes 30 to 35 minutes but like I said check the potato and we'll be right back okay guys the food is done the potatoes are soft there we go looky looky check it out lekker groot appels gesag met die rice tomato breedy with beef bones favorites celebrate heritage month I always say before it's a recipe it's a story and before it's a story it's a circumstance and that is so true when it comes to food and that is why soul food in high school tastes so liquor at that anyways guys hope you enjoyed the video and i'll be back again with another video soon bye everyone love you guys